Because the stolen equipment didn't have serial numbers, David Bratcher was forced to do his own detective work. And that's when he made that discovery. He tells me he was shocked to learn he and the suspect not only shared a zip code, but a property line. I, it wasn't a mount. It was just the idea that they took it got to me. So. It was June when David Bratcher walked into his Hillview home to check on renovations and realized every single piece of equipment was gone. In the weeks that followed, he checked Craigslist and other sale sites, hoping for a lucky break. He got it last week. His compressor was for sale on Facebook Marketplace. I knew it was mine the minute I seen it. So, yeah. And um, then I contacted the guy, and he said that uh, a friend had given him a lot of tools and his dad was wanting him to get rid of them, get rid of them, so he was decided to sell them. Bratcher then contacted Hillview Police Detective Scott Barrow and said paint chips on the compressor convinced him it was his. He tells me that he has located one of his items uh, from the burglary and it's on Facebook Marketplace and he tells me that this is my item, I know it's my item. The two set up a sting operation. Bratcher agreed to meet 25-year-old Derek Dobbins at his Hillview Boulevard home. Turns out he lived directly behind him. When he came outside to make a sale, police made their move. A lot of it was on the victim's part, you know, for being able to search social media, Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace uh, for his items. It was priced to sell, too, according to Bratcher. Oh, yeah, yeah, it would have been a good deal. I, I, I guess I could have went and bought my own stuff back. But <laughs> In Hillview, Lauren Adams, WLKY News.